When I arrived in Jerusalem for my first day of class at the university, I didn't really know what to expect. At the central station, young people sat eating falafel and ultra-orthodox men sat playing his harp, while other people collected funds for charity and a soldier rushed to catch the bus. I got in the light rail train and started my journey through the city. It was rush hour and the station was crowded. But while I got squeezed from all sides, I found a spot at the window and spent my time observing the passerby. At Machne Yuda Market, I could smell the fresh rolls as I heard the merchants shouting, five pitas at 10, a pound of grapes at 20, and people bargaining in a loud voice. The train passed through the city center, full of tourists coming to see the holy city, and people running from store to store and in and out of cafes. The train took a turn and I saw the city walls and realized how beautiful they are. Suddenly, all the storefronts were written in Arabic, not in Hebrew anymore. We arrived at Nablus Gate and I could see from afar a man selling round shaped bread, women in hijab and little children playing. In the next station, a big group of ultra-Orthodox Jews and many strollers came in. On the other side, a Jewish religious woman waited with her children in matching outfits. I was curious to continue traveling the train line and see more of the city. However, the train finally arrived at the university station and all of the students went down with me religious, secular, ultra-Orthodox and Arabs, intertwined like a colorful fabric. I hope that during my studies, I would get to know these people beyond the simplicity differences I saw through the train window, beyond the divided city.